Hi! Okay, it's been a while. Um, and man, is God good. Um, so I left for camp, and then before I left, I made a note saying I wasn't going to be posting for the week while I was at camp because I wanted to enjoy it and be present. You guys, did God ever give me a revelation while I was at camp? He spoke directly to me. Ah! And he's given me such direction for my life, and I cannot wait to share it with you. So, um, we had a wonderful speaker at this camp named Pastor Trish, and the way she spoke was so inspiring, and it gave me a new outlook on life and faith and taking action, um, and just believing God and knowing that it, it is, you know, it's going to take sacrifices, trusting the Lord. But it's so worth it. And just trusting in him, having faith, all that jazz. I want to make a video talking about everything she talked about because I think it could help everybody. Um, but that's a different video. Anyways, um, they also had people from a Bible college who were really, you know, talking up the town about this college, being like, I really believe there's people here who feel, who are being called to go there. And they just kept talking about it and bringing up different aspects of it and just talking about how good Bible college is. And I really felt called to go to Bible college. Even before I went to camp, I would look up Bible colleges, but then like didn't really feel like, oh, like moving away because that's scary. And then just like, I've never, ever, ever wanted to go to college. Once high school was done, I was like, I'm out, never again. So, I wasn't really fully considering it, but it was in the back of my mind. So the fact that they were like, I really believe people here are gonna go to, you know, feel called to go here. And then I went to the booth later that night and the man there was like, were you sitting over there during worship? And I was like, yeah. He's like, okay. I feel like that's it's not a coincidence because I remember you. I really feel like this is right, you know? So I put in, I gave them my email and I left it at that, and then throughout the week, I still just felt God pressing on me to go to that college. And then I talked to them again the other night before, and they were just saying they're gonna get back to me on everything. Anyways, basically, I'm going to Bible college. Ah! Um, I'm gonna be going starting January, so I'll be going through like half, like the midterm of the people starting in fall. So. I'm pretty sure it's January to April for just like the first year, which I mean, four months, that's not bad at all. Um, but yeah, I am so excited. I, this is exactly where God wants me. And I know that a hundred percent, um, I'm going to be applying hopefully for a pastoral leadership program. They have one of that. So I'll learn about the Bible and different ways to evangelize, different classes to defend our faith and just learning more about Jesus and the apostles, disciples, the Old Testament, all of that. I am so excited to do that. Um, yeah, so that was like the first big revelation that God gave me. I don't have any fear about it. I'm so excited. I know this is exactly where God wants me. Um, it's a three-year program that I want to do. So, yeah, I'm so excited. And then also, as soon as, not as soon as I got home, but like the day that I got home, um, God just like was like, you're going to move out. You're going to rent out a room in town. You're going to work full time. And then you're going to go to Bible college. He gave me specifically the person I'm going to move into because there was an opening for me to live there when I first came back into my hometown um in december so i've been in contact with that person and we're gonna see how that goes it's reasonable rent it's in town there's job places i can work there full time <sighs> and then go to school and then i can come back in like may april ish and just you know live in town still work buy a car and then go back for a year two and I just, I'm just so excited, you guys. God has given me such direction in life. 
and it's it's just mind blowing because this is what all I wanted. Like before I went to camp, I had the most anxiety for like a week or so long. It was really bad. Um, I would cry like every day, have mini panic attacks every day, um, just not knowing at all where God wants me to go and what he wants me to do. And um, a lot of that fear had to do with this um, channel and not the people, not the videos. I mean, the, the videos I do believe were still good. I mean, they still brought glory to God and still taught people. You guys, I mean, got something from it, but... Anyways, I was striving. I was striving really hard, posting every day, because I wanted to get paid from this, to let this be my job, so that that could be a step into ministry with getting paid. Um, but then since not doing it for a week, that's when God was like, hey, you weren't doing it for me anymore. And he's right, I wasn't. and. Not to say the videos didn't mean something because they're still important. They still are things that God taught me that I shared, but it wasn't necessarily something that God was telling me to share to people, you know, and I was just doing it out of fear of, I guess, missing out and missing the opportunity of the video to go viral and then to get paid from it. And yeah, just striving for my own gain and not the glory of God. And that's what he showed me and then from not posting online every day I don't think that's what God's calling me to do anymore um I still love creating content I love editing I love everybody who's been watching these videos you all mean so much to me we were one happy family brothers and sisters in Christ and I am excited to start documenting my life and you know I'd still love to make videos talking about God here and there whatever I feel called to do by the Lord but I won't be continuing to post every day um yeah I I just don't feel like that's what God's wanting me to do I really feel like he's just calling me to just step out in this direction he's been bringing me to and focus on him and focus on stepping out in faith, you know, starting a new independent life with living sort of on my own and then working full time and um, just focusing on the present. Um, I mean, yeah, so I, that's that's the update of my life and yeah, it, it's just crazy. I wouldn't have gotten this if I didn't go to camp, so I just feel so blessed that I got to go and I'm just so excited to go on to this new chapter of life, of my life and where God's calling me to be and I just want to thank all of you so much for being with me through this whole journey because I mean you guys are awesome and I think this is so cool to see how God moves in our life and yeah if you're in a season of waiting like I was for nine months. Don't waste the waiting. Don't waste it. There's a beautiful sermon by Craig Groeschel and it's called Don't Waste the Waiting and I very much encourage you to watch it because there's so much fruition that can happen during the waiting. You just have to spend time with God, get into his word, trust him during the waiting and don't Try to strive for other things to get you out of the waiting. Just wait on the Lord. Wait on God, you know. Spend this time with Him. Trust in Him. Grow in Him. He'll teach you so many things through the waiting. And if it wasn't for my ninth month long waiting period, I, I wouldn't be who I am today. I wouldn't have this amount of faith that I have today. I wouldn't have this channel have today I it's like guys you just can't waste the waiting you can't dilly daddle during the waiting you know use this time to get closer to God and grow and learn different things and get responsible and just tr just trust God because he's got you in his perfect timing 
he will give you a beautiful direction like he has for me and he will reveal the places he wants to go and the people he wants you to meet and yeah he's he's just he's just awesome he hasn't forgotten about you he has not forgotten about you so if you're in a season of waiting like i was no matter how much length it's been please just trust god continue to press in on him every single day because he he's so good and he has never forgotten about you he will never forget about you and he loves you and yes yeah that's that's kind of all there really is to update about. Um, I'm also, my birthday's tomorrow. <laughs> I turn 19 tomorrow, which is exciting. And then on the 28th of August, I go in for my driving test for my G2. So if you made it this far in this video, please just say a quick prayer for me that I will get my G2. I've been practicing a lot and there's just little nitpicky things I need to continue to work on. Uh, but I'm a little bit stressed about it. I really want to get it. If I don't, it's not the end of the world. I can just try it in two weeks, but I would love to get it the first try and I'll have to pay the fee to do it again. Um, so yeah, I would just really appreciate prayer, please. And thank you for the 28th Monday. I go at 11.45. Yeah, prayers would be so much appreciated. So thank you. But yeah, that's that's the life update. God is so good and that's that's where he's taken me and I'm so excited and I'll update more as life goes on and as God continues to grow me and everything. So this isn't this isn't the last video. I want to post more. I will be posting more but just God's timing and his provision and his will but yeah thank you for watching thank you for supporting me through all these months I love you guys so much God loves you so much and he will never ever ever leave you nor forsake you he has a plan for your life you just gotta wait continue to press into him he's got you he'll never forget about you okay so, bye-bye. God bless you. Okay, bye. <laughs>